Yo, what's going on, good people? This is your man, Chris Thorns. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you're watching my content. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, I just paid attention to the date. It is uh, the 17th of March, which is uh, St. Patrick's Day. So if you celebrate St. Patrick's Day, then, you know, happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Please be safe out there. Me, I never just really care for the day. You know, I got here to be honest, I really don't know what the hell is the meaning behind it. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, it's another day that people have fun and do what they do, you know, this, that, and the third. But, however, though, I'm not here for St. Patrick's Day. I'm here because I was sent a story out of my hometown, which is Memphis, Tennessee. And would make it even worse for what I'm gathering from this. It's not far from my home. It sounds like it's right around the corner from my home. Um, but I had to check the... I try I had to check out the map and see uh, exactly where it's at, but it sounds like it's right around the corner from my where I stay. At, literally, right around the corner from where I stay. At. Uh, and what do we have here is uh, they found two kids and they um, put them from a body of water, and on top of that, one of the children has died. You know, so uh, you know, uh, talk about children. You know, so if I could do it for other states and cities. I could do it for my hometown as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a listen. Another in critical condition after being pulled from a body of water in Memphis. Rescue crews were called to the 3500 block of Shemwell Avenue off Prescott Road this morning, I mean, this afternoon rather. WMC Action News 5's Janice Broach has those details. Oak Haven neighbors, the two young boys who ended up in the pond behind their home, are devastated by the tragedy. Memphis police are trying to figure out exactly what happened. It's hard. It is. It's, it's really, really hard. And it, it's just a hard thing. Arnita Gray does not know the family that lived down the road on Shemwell near Rains, but she knows it's a terrible tragedy Shemwell. when two little boys end up in an algae-filled pond behind their home. Police say preliminary information indicated the children are three and five years old. It happened just before one in the afternoon. One neighbor who did not want to be identified saw first responders trying to save one child. I seen the fire department and the ambulance out here in the, in the water. It was like two fire, fire men in a boat, and it was like four or five of them that was uh, in the water standing like with their sticks and stuff trying to see where he was at. He said it took about 30 minutes to find the child who did not survive. He was found in the middle of the pond. It took so long for them to find him. I'm knowing he was non-responsive. The neighbor did not see the rescue of the first child who was transported in critical condition to Labana Children's Hospital. The neighbor also wonders how the children ended up in the water. There does not appear to be much of a fence, if any, behind the children's home. But the man points out all of the brush and fallen trees you have to get across just to reach the water. And my heart is just with the family. And I'm just praying for the family. Neighbors say that pond has been behind the homes for a long time. They say maybe it's time it is filled in. Janice Broach, WMC Action News. All right, guys. Uh, Shimwell Ro Road um, off of Rains. I don't know exactly where they're at. Hold on, give me a minute. Let me see if I can pull up the, a map in that area. All right, sorry about that, guys. I uh, got it pulled up. Um, it say 38118, that's my zip code. Um, it's right here, but I'm trying to see um, how far is it from me. Shinrail Road, okay. Shinrail Road to go Prescott. East Rains. Uh, to go to Gateway Gas Station. What's this right here? Holy shit, it is around the corner from me. Holy shit, it is. 
Damn. Alright guys, yeah, this this is right around the corner for me. It is. Oh wow, holy shit. Uh <clears throat> Damn it man. Oh wow. Um Well Let me see what this saying right here. Mm. Welcome to oh, Circle, God. our authentic original. We have breaking news here at 5. Memphis police are investigating a deadly water accident involving two children. WMC Action News 5's Janice Broach joins us live with the latest. Janice? Well, Joe, I am on Shemwell near Rains, and this tragic accident happened behind these houses. There is a pond back there. Now, Memphis police tell me they believe the two children are three and five years old, two boys, uh, apparently brothers. Uh, I did talk with a neighbor who told me that they saw the fire department back there actually in a boat. The two children, the neighbor said, were found in the middle of that pond. It's a, a somewhat large pond. It has algae all over it. It's not clear how the boys got back there. There's a lot of brush you have to get through before you can even get into the water. Uh, but this is obviously a tragic accident. One of the children drowned. The other child is at Le Bonner. We're trying to get some more information from police to determine exactly what happened. And I will have that coming up at 10. Live in Oak Haven, Janice Broach, WMC Action News 5. <laughs> You know, when you do this, uh, these stories, you know, it's kind of a little bit harder when it hits home. Um, and this shit really hit home. I mean, this shit is literally right around the corner for me. I don't know nothing about Shinwell Street. I don't recall ever being on this street. Um, one of the news clips that I had that people were saying that they, they didn't even know that this thing was behind there. You know, they didn't even know this, you know, so imagine that. So if that's the case that nobody knew that this pond was behind there, what got what got the children curious to go behind there? Then you know y'all just heard she say you know you got to get through a lot of stuff to get back there, you know. So this story, oh God, wow. Well, let me uh move my phone. This story already has a. Uh, Quite a few questions, and uh, one of my again, one of my one of my questions is, you know, if it has been right there that long, you know, what made them go back there, you know, uh, or two, had they been back there before, you know, three, uh, who supervision was they under when this happened, uh, or four, last not least. Did somebody purposely put them children back there? I don't, I don't know. Uh, hopefully the one that's in uh, critical condition, they can get him into stable condition and uh, he's able to uh, give information as to what may have happened as to why they got led down there. You know, uh, wow, this is nuts. This is really nuts. And again, guys, this is like, this is right around the corner for me. Looking at that map, this is right around the corner for me. Um, uh, as of now, there's not much information I can give y'all. Um, there's not much information on this right now. Uh, right here at 1253, officers responded to an ambulance call in the 3500 block of Shimware Avenue. Two male juveniles were pulled from a nearby bottle of water. One was exported critical to Laberna. And the second victim was his porter critical, but did not survive his injuries. Ladies and gentlemen, this story came yesterday. This was yesterday. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got sent this story right after I did the story about the guy who killed the people for the stimulus check. You know, it came to me then. Um, but here's another question, you know. Uh, who noticed that, that they was back there? Who who, who found them back there? Um... Okay, my neighbors of two young boys who ended up in the pond behind their home Tuesday are devastated by the tragedy. Miss police are working to determine exactly what happened. It's it's hard. It's really really hard. It's just a hunting thing, a hurting thing. Excuse me. Anita Gray said, "Why the name sound familiar?" Gray does not know the family that live down the road or shouldn't wear near rains, but she knows it is a terrible tragedy when two little boys end up in an algae-filled pond. 
behind their home. Police say preliminary information indicates the children are three and five years old. Three and five years old. Uh, one neighbor who did not want to be identified saw first responders trying to save one child. I saw the fire department eminence and out here in the water. Uh, the five men in the boat, four or five of them in the water. I stayed about chest deep. He said it took about 30 minutes to find the child who did not survive. He was found in the middle of the pond. Oh, Jesus Christ. It took so long for them to find him. He, he was non-responsive. He did not see the rescue of the first child who was transported in critical condition to the Bonner Children's Hospital. The neighbor also wonders how the children ended up in the water. Exactly. That's what I want to know. You know, how did they end up there? And who discovered it? And was able to call 911. Who discovered it? Uh, there's, excuse me, there's, there does not appear to be much of offense, if any, behind the children's home. But the main points, all of the brush and the fallen tree, you had to get through making it difficult to reach the water. My heart is just, my heart is just with the family. Prayers for the family, he said. Neighbor said the pond has been behind the house for a long time. Excuse me, they say maybe it's time that it is 15. Okay, guys, uh, I will try my best to stay on top of this story, especially for people who are in Memphis. You know, I'll try my best to stay on top of this story. Or if you're somebody who stayed in my area or Memphis, period, or stay on Shinwear Street and you see my video and you got a little more information you can add on to this, please hit me up, B-I-G-C-D-T at gmail.com. Once again, that's B I G C D T at gmail.com. If you got any more information about this, please, if you don't mind, share with me and uh, let's see what's going on with these uh, two young men. You know, and uh, hopefully the one that's in critical condition, hopefully he does survive. But uh, to, the up, to the updates, guys, you know, um, that's all I have about this story. Um, and another question too I had, you know, how long did they stay at their house? That's another question too. How long did everybody stay at their house? And again, if they've been staying there for years, what made these young men go back there and uh what made them go back there? You know, so I, I don't know, you know. So again, guys, not much to go on right now. Uh, but I'll try to keep you updated as much as I can about this story and when the updates come up on your man Chris Thorns, guys. After hearing these stories, I don't need to tell y'all for the own team time. Please be careful. Please monitor your children. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. And I will catch y'all next time. All right? Peace.